State lawmakers still planning on meetings to discuss budget cuts, but one town could take the brunt of those cuts if this all goes through. And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. The town of Waterford says they will get up to $1 million less if the cuts are approved, and that will affect everything from transportation to education. News 18 to the tell reports. Like many cities and towns, Waterford is keeping a close eye on what happens in Hartford. Now, the reason we're here is because this bridge needs to be replaced, and that's been put off because of the loss in state funds the town has already received. The latest Hushia. release that we've seen represents about a $995,000 cut to our budget overall. That's a big chunk, two-thirds of the education cost sharing and other state funds Waterford usually gets. For some reason, Waterford's considered a very rich town. First Selectman Dan Stewart says that is due in large part to its biggest taxpayer, the Millstone Nuclear Power Plant. But he says the town doesn't think it's worth as much as the state does. So now the town is tasked with making up nearly a million dollars in lost funding and maybe more. It's a very stressful time because you don't know and our residents are very concerned. Along with putting off the replacement of this bridge damaged by Superstorm Sandy, the town will also delay repairs needed on Kenyon Road. Plus, the school department is looking at ways to save. The superintendent tells News 8 it has another $350,000 to slice from its budget. He's looking at every way possible not to do layoffs. But the school department and town have saved $100,000 each by negotiating a lower rate to fill up town vehicles. Still more needs to be done, and taxes are expected to rise 3.5%. Everything rolls downhill. Yeah, that's true. It falls into our lap. I know it's necessary. I believe in education, so... I'm willing to bite the bullet if I must. As far as this bridge goes, the engineering study needed to replace it is being paid for in this budget, but then again, it won't be replaced until at least next year. In Waterford, Tina Detell, News 8.